What's going on guys, Alex? In today's video, I want to show you exactly how to do keyword research for your Google Ads accounts, for Google Ads campaigns, for your Google Ads ad groups, how to do keyword research for Google Ads. Um, you can do, you can get 90% of the way there uh, just within Google Ads itself. And I will just show you guys uh, how I do keyword research. So I'm just going to jump right into it. So go to your Google Ads, um, just go to your Google Ads account here. It's going to look something like this, obviously. On the left, click on Tools, and the keyword tool that we're going to use pops up right here. Click on Discover New Keywords. The first thing you want to do is start by adding your area. If you're targeting somewhere in Canada, don't select Canada unless you are literally targeting the, the entire country. And same with if you're targeting somewhere in the U.S. Don't target the entire U.S. It's going to skew your results because demand for certain things here in Washington is going to be far different uh, than what you would find in Arizona. In this case, let's just go with uh, San Diego as a location. So enter your location here. Click on include. Click save. And this is this is where you add your keyword for your business. So if you are a, I don't know, let's think of a business idea. If you're a plumber, right? This will give us a lot of keywords. <clears throat> if you're a plumber, start broad. Add your keyword there. Now you can add a different, a bunch of different keywords. Um, you know, toilet installation, broken toilet, uh, drain installation, anything like that. But adding plumber will help. Will Google will give us the most amount of um, keywords related to your business. So if you're in junk removal, you add junk removal. If you are in uh, bathroom remodeling, right? You just add bathroom remodeling, whatever. So add your business here as broad as possible. Now click on get results. Now, what a lot of people do is they will just, excuse me, they will just choose a few from here or just skip this process entirely. Uh, but what you want to do is first, let's move this out of the way. First, you just want to look at how many keywords you can refine out of this list. So just choose this and you can get rid of, you know, a bunch of your competitor brands. So if you just click that, it will refine and get rid of a bunch of keywords, right? You can look at different amenities, things like, you know, maybe you're not doing sewers, so you can get rid of sewers, right? Look at the services, right? Maybe you're not doing toilet replacements or maybe you don't want commercial plumbing keywords, so you would just get rid of this. And then there's also other, obviously we don't want this. Coast is probably not related, right? North, not related, r, r Plumbing, not related, right? And so you can see already that Google has now given us a list of 561 keywords from 758. Now, again, another mistake, one mistake people will make a lot of the time is they will just choose a few keywords from here and that's it. Um, this is what I do show in my videos, but I only show it this way because it's the fastest way to get an account or a, a campaign, an ad group up and running. What you really wanna do is from this list, click on download keyword ideas and then open it in a Google Sheets, right? And then you can just click on download and it's gonna open down here. And this is now where we can find the best keywords to use to build out our campaign and to build our ad groups that are most relevant for our services. Click on open sheet. Now this is going to open into a Google Sheet here uh, with all the different keywords that you would want. So you can get rid of things like currency month you know the three month change doesn't really matter that much competition doesn't matter all you really want is the average monthly searches and then the top of page bids high range and low range so just get rid of these extra columns here and then you can get rid of these two columns as well and then add one extra column so if we just select this insert one column to the right and have this as ad group because we will use these keywords uh, uh, to determine which ad group we are adding the keywords to. And then you can just add your normal filter here. I also like to freeze up to row one. Now, this is where you're gonna start to go through uh, and find which keywords you're gonna add to your account. And obviously you get to a point where, you know, best pipe, best pipe for plumbing, it just becomes irrelevant really fast. Uh, so you only need to go through the first 25, 50, maybe the first 100, depending on your business. And plumber is where you would add this one to an ad group near me. The reason I add near me is because over time, your ad groups will uh, get more and more exact that you will need an, a near me ad group to target those near me searches. Now, emergency plumber is going to be something different, right? Emergency plumber being its own ad group near me. 
and then you would just have this one as emergency plumber if you get rid of the near me so what you want to do is go through the first as relevant as they are right plumbing services plumber plumbing services would be its own ad group 24-hour plumber would be its own ad group right plumbing company would be its own ad group local plumbers would go with the plumber cheap plumber or near me but I'd probably just start with plumber for all the near me ones until Google gives you enough data right <clears throat> water heater repair would be its own ad group right you could go with something like gas plumber would be its own ad group plumbing company and as you can see there are a lot like tankless water heater repair that would go in the water heater repair ad group so you just go through a bunch of these, right? Until you until they they just become irrelevant, right? So eventually, maybe around a hundred plus or more, they start to become irrelevant. And what you want to do is break them down into ad groups. So from here, from this window, um, you can now even refine your Google your keyword research more, uh, or just build up the ad groups from here instead of guessing which ones you need, right? So even from here, you can then go in and go with emergency plumber. Click on get results. Now you can see here that more of these are going to be related to emergency plumbing. Or if you are just doing, for example, water heater repair, you could just get rid of this and do water heater. Click on get results. Now this will form the backbone of your keyword research for your ad group. And even here, the further you take it, the more segmented your campaigns are going to be. So here we have water heater repair. We also have water heater replacement right now. You can run those in the same ad group and just see what the data is coming in. Likely those will be two different ad groups, water heater repair and replacement, right? But you'd have to run the campaign to see, but it all starts here in a Google sheet. And then from this list uh, of ad groups is where you would then build out um, your, your, your keywords, right? Your ad groups. You could even from here do filter by text and then only find the text that the keywords that do include emergency. You can see here we have a whole bunch of emergency plumber uh, keywords on all of them are relevant. For example, like the cost, I would not typically bid on those. And then now we have all the emergency plumber keywords that we would add into our ad group, right? And an easy way to find cheaper keywords, like less competitive, uh, if you are on a tight budget or you don't want to pay $70 per click, is you can even go back here. And in this range, if we add plumber, Click enter, just sort by top of page bid, high range. So you can see for plumber near me, $77 Canadian up to $200 Canadian per click. Obviously, you know, you won't, won't, don't want to be paying $200 per click. But if you scroll down, you can find some less competitive ones. Um, new construction plumbing, not bad. Bathroom drain clogged, right? People, in, people that are bidding on this are looking for uh, someone to come fix their bathroom drain. What's cool about this is if you search bathroom drain clogged, I wonder if I'll get ads. I do have ads, right? And these guys don't know what they're doing. Clogged and drain clearing. That's a really good ad. Exactly for what I'm looking for. A lot of people will be calling these numbers. You don't want to be running local service ads for your bathroom drain clogged keyword. Drain cleaning services is also not bad, right? These are two really good ads. Um, and you can even just pull these ideas from here, right? Kitchen sink installation. This might give me more informa uh, informational. Kitchen sink installation. I do have ads. Look at that. Plumbing upgrades and installs. Sink installation. This home stars obviously knows what they're doing. And I, th this is what I would create the campaign around, right? You would just have keywords, right? You could even just go back in the, your keyword tool here. Kitchen sink installation. Now, this is something you offer. It's a really good way. Kitchen sink installation. Uh, to get leads that aren't, that aren't going to cost as much as just a standard plumbing lead. And if we look here, under mount sink installation, mounting under my sink, there is a lot of demand, right, for these keywords. Whether or not you get stuck bidding against people that are going for the more DIY type of thing, uh, you'll have to run the campaign to figure it out. But this all starts with keyword research. Without doing keyword research, without looking at pricing, uh, cost per click, and everything like that, you will not find these keywords. And it really is that easy. Two other things you can do, guys, is you can use your SEMrush. So just use SEMrush to find keywords related to your business uh, that you can add to your campaigns. And also Google Search Console will give you a lot of super helpful data uh, that you can use for adding super relevant keywords 
pure Google Ads campaigns uh, just to make the ads a little bit more relevant, to get a little bit more traffic coming in, uh, and to just make things easier on your end for the keyword research process. It really is that easy, guys. Thank you for watching. If you did make it this far and you still need help with your Google Ads keyword research, management, anything like that, click the link down below, book a call with me. I'm happy to take a look at Google Ads campaigns, answer any questions you have about Google Ads, and of course, see if there's any opportunity to work together to get you more leads, help you grow your business with Google Ads. As always, you guys, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.